Nation, it's your boy Curtis, aka Flex. As you can see here, I'm with my little guy. We're switching it up again. We are on our way to just explore a little bit of Toronto. The girlfriend is doing her little thing with her sister, so it's the guy's time. So, how you feel so far, Bubba? He feels good. So, we're going to go out. Hopefully, I can show you a few things here in Toronto and uh, hopefully, I can get some things done. Hopefully, I can find some shoes because I'm looking for some shoes. Alright, so I went to that place Villa Medina, got myself a whole bunch of salads, you could get yourself two salads and two meats, so as you can see there I got some beef, some chicken, got some salads and sides there, uh, looks like a good meal, I'll let you guys know uh, how it is afterwards. Well, while my son is sitting there watching uh, Wheels on the Bus go Run on Run on TV, I'm here actually trying to, uh, and he's causing problems as well, I'm here trying to actually just finish eating that meal. It was actually very delicious, I must say, that uh, that Vila, don't mind the background music, but uh, yeah, that Vila Medina uh, meal was excellent. Uh, it came with the rice, it actually was actually rice at the bottom under the, uh, all that meat and uh, things. So, well, pretty much your whole uh, selection of, of things that you can actually ask for in your meal. That being said, I'm actually sitting here trying to actually go over all the comments that you guys have given me over the last couple of weeks. I've actually tried to start working harder on making my, uh, or promoting my uh, YouTube channel. So I thank every single one of you guys that has actually contributed it and actually, uh, you know, made sure you, uh, you subscribed and wrote your comments. Thank you very much. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Just make sure you remember that. Make sure you watch uh, What's Up Wednesday because, again, that is an opportunity so you guys could have one-on-one -on -one with me. Or not one-on-one, -on -one, but, you know, just have a real good conversation with me. We have it unscripted, uncensored. Say what you want. Have as much fun as you want. As long as it's not hurting nobody, have as much fun as you want. What's Up Wednesday? Again, every Wednesday, 7.15 p.m. Eastern Pacific Time. Check me out on What's Up Wednesday. Sometimes we have it on for a half an hour, one hour, two hours. Again, it just sees, it's all about how live it is in there, and hopefully we have a good time like we always do. That being said, uh, as you guys saw in the beginning of the video there, I said it switch up, uh, switch up uh, Sunday. As you guys know, I'm switching it up between, you know, having some vlogs, whatever the case might be. I wanted to go out there and actually buy some uh, shoes, but as you guys saw, I didn't get to buy any shoes. I don't know, is it just me, but the shoes that are out there right now, but it doesn't matter if it's basketball shoes, Chucks, Pumas, uh, Nikes, etc, etc, the shoes are just ugly. I, 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 I went through Foot Locker, all those different shoe stores, Champs, yada, 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 and I couldn't find a shoe to save my life. And I don't need to get extra, like I'm a Timberlands fan, but again, you can't wear Timberlands throughout the whole, all of season, so, you know, I was trying to look for a pair of shoes just to wear as a nice casual shoe or whatever the case might be, and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't, and I'm not gonna spend $400 on a pair of Jordans either, so it was just a heartache. That being said, I was going to get a Chromecast for my TV, but I'll show you guys afterwards after my, or as my son goes to bed and everything, but uh, I wanted to get myself a Chromecast for my TV because my TV is smart, but it's not that smart, so what I wanted to do is get myself a, you know, a Chromecast or an Apple TV or any of those things to stream TV, and uh, what I did is I got myself a Ruku, a Ruku Express. I got a Sharp TV, and if you look at the newer Sharp TVs, they come with Ruku already installed in it, but again, I got my Sharp TV, I do have a Sharp TV, and I got mine just before they actually started putting on the Ruku, so I said I was going to get a Chromecast or a Ruku, I did a whole bunch of reviews and read up about it, and just bear in mind guys, if you want to get yourself a streaming service, uh, streaming player, 
this is the one to go with because again I've read a lot of reviews and these guys uh, have a ton of apps, ton of things to do and uh, this is the way to go so I'm going to install this on my Roku, show you guys how it works and uh, again if you want to get one, grab one because it's not that bad of a price, it's about the same price as, uh, as a, a Chromecast which is about $45 Canadian, I don't know how much it is in wherever our region or place that you are in but here in Canada it's about $45 so you do the math and the exchange and see how much it probably is where you are. That being said, uh, that is what I got so far. Uh, again, I'm going to be just commenting on all the comments I got here and after I finish doing that, put myself to bed and then hopefully uh, catch up on some of you guys' videos. This is basically how my weekend or my Sundays or my mix of those days go. So. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the vlog and enjoy everything I try to put up. So like I said, it's going to be vlog. Switch up Sundays just be a whole bunch of everything. I actually got some more ideas for uh, upcoming uh, episodes. So again, I hope you guys are liking this stuff. Stick with me. So here we are sitting in front of my TV. And this is pretty much a gist of the smart capabilities that you see here. You got the regular voodoo. I don't know what voodoo is. Probably an American one. Uh, sorry, you guys, we don't got uh, that here in Canada. You got the regular Netflix. You got Cinema Now. I don't even think Cinema Now is still available. Uh, there's uh, Aquas Net and the uh, Aquas Advantage. So it does, as you see at the top, just above that, it has the Wi Fi capability. So it does have like somewhat smart capabilities, but it just doesn't have exactly what I am actually wanting out of my TV. Now I've had this TV for a good like three, four years now, so bear that in mind. Technology has changed and technology always will change in that small amount of time. Don't mind the fans that you hear in the background, but I'll show you guys exactly how this Roku uh, streaming stick works. So as soon as I turn it on, this is what I see. I don't know what I'm looking forward to or what I'm gonna be seeing. I'm just gonna try to plug in everything as it goes along. Two double A up. Here we go. So as you can see here, it's looking for my uh, internet. Let's get that fired up here. Just bear with me for that. So as you can see there, internet, everything's all hooked up. Uh, it's saying that now your Roku player will get the latest software, and it will automatically uh, do everything. So it just restarted there and now it's about to uh, get back into its thing again. Cute little uh, thing to start off with. I guess that's its cover screen. Right now it has it in 720p. My TV is actually 1080p. No, it's not 4K that you see a lot of these TVs on nowadays. Uh, sooner or later, I'll upgrade it just like I want. I plan on upgrading my camera. I plan on upgrading that. So as you can see there, it's saying that it's an auto-detect display. So I guess it will analyze everything about my TV. So it's seen that my TV, as you can see there, is 1080p. It wants to make my content 1080p. And this HDMI input will compatibly will make itself 1080p. So, uh... I'm down with that. <laughs> so as you can see there, it's testing just to make sure it is. Uh, it's asking me if it looks good. It's like, yes, it does look good. But anyways, guys, that's what I wanted to show you guys. And uh, as you can see, that is what I've got so far with this Roku. All right, so there you have it, guys. Even if I wanted to put out this... Uh, Sunday, cross my fingers, uh, this will most likely be out on Monday, and I just want to say again, thank you for all you guys that has given me the attention that you've given me, and I just wanted to put out as much content as I possibly can and entertain you guys as much as I can. Uh, again, I'm trying to get to my uh, next powerlifting meet, it is very soon, four weeks away, uh, around August 18th, I believe, and we are at the 22nd, 23rd time of the uh, July right now so got some time left but again like I said I'm working hard uh, I'm gonna start doing a little bit of uh, 
you know, change my macros to be, you know, fit and ready for the meet. I feel good. I feel great. And uh, as you guys have been watching, my lifts are going moderately uh, well. So hopefully I can continue this on. Hopefully you guys are liking the content. Again, switch up Sundays. I'm going to be switching it up all the time. Like I said, these first three weeks, our first three videos, you guys got an idea of basically what this series is going to be representing. It's going to have a little bit of everything. So again, I got more ideas for next week. Make sure you check out next week. And of course, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you share, and suggest. And always remember, guys, at the end of the day, to flex them guns. What?